this is open source voice cloning for the GPU poor. With only a 3 second enrolled recording of an unseen speaker, you can replicate their voice, you can clone their voice completely zero shot, three different languages, English, Chinese and Japanese. And we're going to see a quick demo of how the result looks like. Even before going to that, I'm going to tell you that the result is not amazing. It's not like 11 laps or it's not like any of this proprietary solution that are available. But still, I would say that this is open source and this is a great start. Before we move into the technical details, a quick demo. So I tried to replicate the voice of Dr. Jordan B. Peterson. And uh, this is what I got as a result. And this is the text that it is going to try to read in Dr. Jordan B. Peterson's voice. Let's listen to it. With only a three second roll recording and an unseen speaker as an acoustic prompt, even in another language for monolingual speaker. So this is the voice that I generated and that voice came from another recording that I used as an input. So now getting into this project, like you at this point, you might have understood what kind of voice cloning this is, but getting into the project, this is an open source replication of Wally X. So this is uh, something that Microsoft put out quite a long time back called Wally -E X, but Microsoft never released the model in itself. So a bunch of researchers, uh, they themselves used this, uh, the paper from Microsoft and then then created their own model. They did their own implementation and also they have released their own model for research and application usage. Now, if you see this uh, model, the it is quite straightforward for you to use it. You need Python 3.10, CUDA 11.7 or to 12 and PyTorch 2.0 plus. And then you can directly install it and then start playing with that. I'm not doing a Google Colab demo at this point. If you want to use it, it is pretty straightforward for you to click open in spaces. Once you click open in spaces, you are going to get this hugging face spaces. In this hugging face spaces, you can you can see four different tabs infer from audio make prompt, infer from prompt, infer long text. So first one infer from audio is where you can upload an audio transcript and that or you can upload an audio audio clip or record from a microphone and then you can generate a text. But this is like a continuous process. It's going to take your audio, understand the text using whisper and it is going to do the cloning and then you're going to read it again or generate the voice. If you were to uh, make this process accelerate this process then you can use make prompt where you can generate an audio prompt with an npz file npz file can be later on used to infer from the prompt so we're going to see each and every method one by one first to start with i'm going to say infer from audio so i've uploaded an audio file here let me play the audio file for you the first thing you have to understand with regards to trying to come to terms with the cons this is the original audio clip. This is like the pure play audio clip. And this audio clip is what we are using to clone. So while you're going to clone, you can specify the language. You can say English, Chinese and Japanese. And then you can also specify whether there is accent or what kind of accent is there. So this way you can play around with, for example, English speaking person with Chinese accent and you can play around with the accent. But for now, I'm going to just upload this audio clip, which I've already uploaded. Or if you want to use microphone, you can still use microphone. And then you can specify any text that you want. And then you can click generate. Let me use one of the existing examples so it is easier for you to see. So I'm going to click this example. It says there is an audio clip here. And the text is, uh, once the audio clip is uploaded, the whisper is being used here to get the transcript of it. Okay, so the audio clip is this. No ordinary teddy bear. So it also tries to keep the emotions from the clip intact. So let's let's listen to the clip. We just listen to the clip. And what we are trying to generate is this is how this is how this machine has taken my voice. And I'm going to click generate. Once I click generate, typically because it's a hugging face spaces, you're going to be on a queue. And once your turn comes in, you're going to generate it. And uh, if you want to make a prompt. You can also click make a prompt and then save that audio clip, which is like an audio prompt that you can use later on for infer from prompt. That is the second tab make from prompt. So you can either go here and then make that prompt and then download the NPC file. So in this case, I've uploaded that same clip from Jordan P. Peterson. And once I click make, I get this prompt one underscore NPC and I can just simply download it. After I download it later on, I can go to infer from prompt tab and upload the NPC here. So I can upload the NPC here and then specify what I want 
that particular voice speaker has to say i can just give the text and then cl click generate and then it will generate so we have just given infer from text infer from audio that is currently running once this is finished then we'll explore infer from prompt using an npz so the audio clip is ready now and it's it correctly identified what the speaker initially said and now it is giving us the synthesized vo voice which would ideally say this is how this machine has taken my voice let's listen to it this is how this machine has taken my voice it tries to keep the same emotions of the user or the original clip so that seems working really good in this particular case it's not very good in every case so sometimes it clips individual words but now it is working so like i said you can click make a prompt and then that will give you the npz file and you can save it either in this infer from audio tab or you can go to make prompt where you can upload the audio clip if you want to be give if you want to give the right transcript you can give the right transcript here or you can let whisper use the transcript once you have that you can specify the prompt name and you can download the prompt underscore one dot npz after that go to the infer underscore infer from prompt place the tab and give the audio clip whatever you want i can say welcome to my youtube video and and this is a place that i love to be all the time and i can use this as my text and i have already uploaded the npz file here so you can see here the npz file is already being uploaded after that i can select if you want a language or accent if you don't want you can leave it so i can say english but with let's say chinese accent and i can say english as a language and now i can say generate the audio clip so now it's going to use the npz file that i have already uploaded which is the audio prompt and it is going to use this particular text with all these settings that we have given and then it is going to try to create the audio clip or the cloned audio the cloned audio is ready let's listen to it welcome to my youtube video then waste the days that i love to be all the time so this is dr jordan b peterson's voice trying to be in a chinese accent again it's not perfect but i think this is the one of the best that we have got that does not require you heavy gpu but also runs quite smoothly but it requires a lot of fine tuning yet it's not it available but i think the first version is quite amazing currently on hugging face spaces this is running on a10g but i don't know if you can run it on collab so they have a tab to run it on collab which i have not tested it yet but i would definitely love to test it and then see how it goes currently all these three tabs work fine with the smaller text but if you want a longer text they have a separate tab for it you can use the same same uh, philosophy same method and then upload the audio clip and then start generating the way long text is processed is currently chunking into several sentences that also means that it is going to take a long time for you to get the final output but overall this is this is an interesting voice cloning application it's a shame that microsoft never open source or never open source the implementation and also the training trained models of wally but now we have got an open source implementation of wally strongly encourage you to go start the repo of this github user and uh, i think this is this is like a great thing that they have managed to give us the model give us the implementation everything along with the demo making it really really easy for us to use it wally comes with uh, certain functionalities like i said it has tts text to speech and currently supports three languages english chinese japanese which also captures the emotions that is a good thing it also can do zero shot voice cloning which is what we currently saw and it it is an unspeaken speaker but it also has certain inbuilt audio clips available like you can use from one of the existing audio clips and it also can do zero shot cross link cross lingual speech synthesis for example you can take one language and then make them speak like a japanese speaker or chinese speaker or an english speaker so that is also something that is available you get accent control and you can also maintain the acoustic environment so for example um, it you can give an audio clip that is not really you know very clean and all those things but uh, wally can make it really you know natural and immersive so overall this is i think i'm quite happy with uh, how wally has turned out to be wally x has turned out to be i would definitely encourage you to try it out and then let me know in the comment section what do you feel about it but this is a great first step once again thanks to the github user plasta for making it open source and making it available for all of us see you in another video happy prompting